There are so many different ways that you can make jerky for your dogs. It's a healthy and delicious homemade treat as long as you use the right ingredients. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a different kind of chicken jerky uh, with a salty and sweet flavor. family coach and in this video we're going to be making a different kind of chicken jerky for your dogs. We're going to make a salty and sweet chicken jerky for our dogs. Now um, in general giving salt to dogs is not a good idea and in most jerky recipes you'll find online you'll see the primary ingredient as soy sauce. Now uh, we are not even going to be using soy, soy sauce but to get our salty element, I found this really amazing product. It's called Coconut Aminos. And it's soy free, but it is a replacement for soy. So it still has the same qualities and tastes as a soy sauce, very similar, but you're going to get 73% less sodium. So for those of you out there just for your own uses who want uh, an alternative to soy sauce, this is a really great alternative. We're going to be using it for our chicken jerky for our dogs today as a replacement for soy sauce. Um, it's uh, an amazing product. I definitely highly recommend you look into it. You can probably find it at a um, like a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods. Um, however, if you are unable to, I'll put a link in the description of the video where you can find this. So we're gonna be using coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. Do not use soy sauce, please. That just has way too much sodium for your dogs. And we're gonna be using honey. So we've got a sweet and we've got a salty. Um, if you want and you don't have to, this is optional. We can also use a little bit of liquid smoke. Um, this is very potent stuff. A little bit goes a long way. We're not gonna be using very much of it at all, but I'll put a dash in just for some extra flavoring. And of course we got our chicken breasts here. Now, um, with our chicken breasts, what happened uh, here, I have them, they're sliced in half, and then I took our mallet and just pounded them out to the thickness that I wanted, about a quarter of an inch thick, because I really want this to be a, a nice juicy jerky treat. And then I just cut them into strips. So now what we're gonna do is take about three quarters of a cup of our coconut aminos and three quarters of a cup of honey and about half a teaspoon of our liquid smoke. We're gonna put it in a bag and place our chicken in the bag as well so we can marinate it about 30 to 45 minutes in the refrigerator. Okay, now I've got all of our liquids in the bag and kind of mixed together. I'm going to start adding my chicken strips into the bag so that we can get them coated and marinated. I have about a pound and a half of chicken here. Um, if you do more than a pound and a half of chicken, then you, you're gonna want to increase the amount of liquids that you use as well. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just gonna take uh, the Ziploc bag, I'm gonna close it, of course, and I'm just gonna take my chicken and move it around so I make sure I get all of that yummy, salty and sweet flavor on every single strip of chicken. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm just gonna let it sit and marinate for a little while and then we're gonna put it on our dehydrator. All right, so now we have let our chicken jerky marinate in the refrigerator for a little more than half an hour. And we're just gonna take our chicken strips now and we're gonna place them on the dehydrator trays. And the only thing you're really looking to do here is 
make sure that when you place them on the dehydrator trays that nothing is touching. So let's go ahead and get these uh, arranged on our dehydrator. All right, so now that we've got our chicken jerky in our dehydrator, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna put the lid on it and turn it on. And um, my dehydrator only has one setting, so I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna start checking it at about five hours. Um, it will more than likely take longer than that, but I'm looking for a little bit chewier of a jerky um, and I don't want it really hard. I don't want to pull every little last bit of moisture out that I can. I want a little bit of give into it so that it's actually a little bit chewy for my dogs so that they can work on it a little bit and, and have something, a project, something to chew on. So I'm going to start checking it at about five hours and I'll see you back here when it's done. All right, so I'm just checking in with the chicken jerky treats and I wanted to show you, they've been on the dehydrator for about seven hours now and they are really coming along nicely. They're not quite where I want them to be uh, yet. Some of the smaller ones maybe are and I'm, I might go ahead and pull them off, but uh, the larger ones, um, not, not quite there yet, but they're really coming along nice and flexible still. So I wanna get a little bit more um, moisture out of them, but my dogs are gonna love these. Your dogs are gonna love these when you try it. So just wanted to check in and show you where we are. It's getting kind of late in the day for me. So um, the next time you see me in the video, I might have something different on, but um, this is our chicken jerky so far today at about seven hours. We're really coming along nicely. So let's get it back on the dehydrator. All right, so we're back with our sweet and salty chicken jerky for our dogs. And it took about nine hours in the dehydrator, depending on how thick you cut it or how thin you cut it. It could take more, it could take less. Um, just gotta keep an eye on it and get it to the texture and the kind of doneness that you want for your dogs. I wanted it to be a little bit more chewy. I wanted to give my dog something to really chew on, but not be so hard that it, they're just breaking it. And um, I certainly don't want it to, to hurt their teeth. So um, we're done with our chicken jerky. This is again, the salty and sweet chicken jerky. And so now this is what it looks like. Yum, yum. I actually had some. I really like it. Um, my husband isn't a big fan of chicken jerky. He tried it and he liked it. So my dogs really loved it too. I just um, wanted to tell you before I end the video, um, put a couple of days worth in the refrigerator. Anything else you're going to want to put in bags, two to three days worth in um, individual bags. Vacuum seal them if you have a vacuum sealer and put them in the freezer. Um, that way you're going to get a long shelf life out of these products. They can last up to three months if you vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer. Um, and then again, just two to three days worth in the fridge is all you're going to need. Your dogs are going to go absolutely crazy over these. They are so delicious and they're healthy. I mean, they're salty and sweet, but we didn't use like straight sodium. We didn't use soy sauce, which is not good for your dogs. We used a really awesome product, the coconut aminos, 73% less sodium than soy sauce. Um, but you're still get, getting that salty flavor, which is great. And the sweetness from the honey, which is all natural. We love that, right? So um, you can feel good about feeding this to your dogs. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and give some of this to my dogs because they can smell it and they want some. So I'm going to end this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my videos when I post them. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell. It comes up next to the subscribe button. That way you'll actually get an email from YouTube every time I post a video so you'll never miss another video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'm very active on Facebook. I love to hear your questions and comments. I love to be able to answer your questions. So uh, any questions you may have, please leave them below. And with that, I will see you in the next video.